Let's read source 3 for the child labor investigation. Table from World Education. Our central question is, why does hazardous child labor continue to exist in Nepal? And this gives us our purpose for reading this source. Let's read the attribution and then the headnote to find out what type of source it is, who wrote it, and when it was written. Attribution. Table from the 2012 report, a rapid assessment of children in the brick industry in Nepal, page 32, a project of world education and Plan Nepal. Headnote. Researchers talked to 424 children who work in brick kilns in Nepal. They had to get factory owners to agree to let them speak with the child laborers. They want to learn about child labor and to stop child labor. World Education is an organization that helps improve education in 22 countries. Plan Nepal is an organization that helps children in Nepal. Okay, I'm going to pause here. Take a moment to answer these questions about the head note and attribution in your packet. So pause and come back when you're ready. Okay, now let's read the source. Let's read this table from World Education. Question, should children work at the brick factory? So, they asked 424 children this question. Out of those 424 children, 167 said yes, children should work at the brick factory. And 257 of them said no, children should not work at the brick factory. If yes, two reasons. So. Out of this 167 children that said, yes, children should work at the brick factory, uh, they gave reasons for that. So 32.3% gave the reason better than the village. 34.1% gave the reason good, better food. 27.5% gave the reason good clothes. 3% gave the reason can go to school. 53.9% gave the reason get more money. If no, two reasons. So the 257 children who said no children should not work at the brick factory gave these reasons for it. So, 15.5% gave the reason, feel alone. 11.2% gave the reason, bad treatment. 3.9% gave the reason, bad food. 76% gave the reason, work a lot. 32.6% gave the reason, get little money. And 16.7% gave the reason cannot go to school. Okay, go back and read the source yourself. And pause after each line to think what parts of the source seem most important for understanding it and why. <laughs> 